gathered here to pray. So let us turn to God that we might be open to what God has to say to us this day as we open our hearts, our minds, and our souls to the, God, the gift that God has given us. Let us pray. Gentle Spirit, breathe in us the wind of truth, wisdom, and righteousness. May your presence inspire us to create labyrinths of peace. Too often, your people find themselves lost in labyrinths of oppression and confusion and injustice. But you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to, to guide us in these ways, to, to guide us back into the labyrinths of peace, to show us the turns to make, the turns that always take us to you. May Christ lead us, that we too may lead and walk with others, that they may find the wholeness which you intend for all of us. Compassionate one, make, your, make our hearts burn with love, honoring all peoples and creation. Bless all nations, every family and community, while we seek to work for justice and unity. Especially in this time, we celebrate you, Lord, as Prince of Peace. Yes, yes. Lead us to ways of healing and reconciliation. Yes, yes. We pray with those who suffer and struggle. Yes. Bless us with your reconciling love that knows no boundaries as we seek to live in community, justice, and peace. In your precious name we pray. Amen. We're praying some more. <laughs> this is a day of prayer. And we may have some young people who are going to be a part of the prayer time. If so, come join us up here. Morgan's going to begin our prayer. Oh, from First, first Baptist Church. <laughs> Let us quiet our hearts in reverence of God as we pray. Almighty God, who has brought us together at this time and at this significant place, Emancipation Oak, we give you thanks. It is a place that reminds us of the first Southern reading of the Emancipation Proclamation in 1863. A place that stands from freedom, liberty, hope and peace. Lord, bless your name for this day. We thank you for the express love of the people in our community and the great hope we have in you. Yes, Let us remember all who we have been harmed by in violence. Let us commit ourselves to building each other up and to promote healing together. Help us as young people who are caught in this word of world of confusion and conflict to stand up against violence May we work together and stand together expressing our unity, our connection to each other, and to, and to the divine hope we have in the power of God. We pray, O oh God, that the power of the Holy Spirit yes, will move uh, through us to, make, to help transform and heal our communities. We yearn for a world free from brutality, vengeance, and violence. May we go in peace and love with the hope of God this Christmas season and always. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm Brianna from Zion Baptist Church, so let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the spirit of Christmas and unity that has brought us all together today. I come to you to ask for guidance for my generation, which includes all colors, shapes, and sizes. At a time where it seems like everyone has forgotten about your power and your love, I am here to say that all of us standing here have not forgotten. Yeah. 
We are determined as faith walkers to declare, even in the midst of chaos, that you are still God. That you are the way, the truth, and the light. And because of you, we can be the Joshua generation for the 21st century church. Please lead the way, God, so that when we are weak, you will make us strong. Guide our parents so that they will be a godly example for us to follow. I thank you for everything, and I ask it all in the greatest Christmas gift ever. In Jesus' name I pray. All right, let's continue in the spirit of prayer. Holy God, we do give you great thanks for these young people, for the prayers they offered and for the promise they have, for the way that you've embedded into their lives and they love you well, and the hope that means for the future of all of us, because we know, God, that you do long for peace and reconciliation. So knit us together in the power of your spirit. Knit us together in the power of your love. Knit us together in the power of justice and grace and mercy. And God, we do know that you are the God with whom all things are possible. So help us to lean into those possibilities this day as together we dream and imagine and walk for peace and hope and joy and love. We do, God, ask that you would be with all who have suffered from the recent violence across this nation. And we would beg you, O oh God, that it would cease, that peace would take the place, and that uh, alienation would be undermined by reconciliation, and that violence would be undermined by peace that passes understanding from you alone. We claim these promises, and we come grateful that we can gather with others who love you, and in this shared spirit, sing songs, and pray prayers, and cling to you and one another. In Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us let us bow together. Gracious God, again, we thank you for the Prince of Peace in whose name we gather. Thank we thank you for the assembly of your people, God. Thank you. We are here today because we believe your word that declared if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, seek my face, pray and turn from their wicked ways, that you would heal our land. And God, our, our land desperately needs to be healed today. And so we look to you. We believe that you are a healer, even in our modern day. And so God, we pray that you would touch hearts, that you would create a spirit of mutual regard we pray that you would continue to build and unite those of goodwill and communities all across this great nation of ours and around the world. God, we pray for leaders that have been elected to lead our nations. We pray that you would speak to him, to them, God, that you would get their ears, God, and that you ultimately would guide their thinking and their thoughts so that we who are your people might be at peace with one another and most of all with thee. And Father, we thank you today that even though there are those who would claim that there can be no peace without justice, we have discovered that in you we can have peace, even in the absence of peaceless times. And so, Prince of Peace, take up residence in these lives of ours and help us to be ambassadors, ambassadors of peace, even peacemakers that your name might be lifted and your kingdom expanded. And God, most of all, we pray for our children. Yes, 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 yes. Be a covering over them. Be a fence all around them. Protect them from every form of violence and abuse. Yes, 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 yes. Be their God, their hope and their stay. Usher them into their destinies, O oh God. And I pray for those who are in pain. God, this Christmas, may they find peace in you, not simply a box beneath a tree. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious God, our Father, we thank you for a privilege of honor and grace, your matchless love, which God, without it, none of us would be here. We're privileged, Master, that you have 
gathered us together on this day, on this sacred ground that represents the beginning of one thing and the ending of another. We thank you, God, for our children who are gathered here with us. For God, that is why we gather, that this generation might know that, God, that you're still God, and besides you, there is no other. Yes. That right now, in a situation and circumstance, in a world where everything is more important than you, we declare and decree with our whole heart that you are our God, and we are your people. And that we now look our eyes to the hills, realizing all of our help comes from you and you alone. We ask, oh God, that you would breathe on Hampton, that you would breathe on Virginia, that you would breathe on the United States of America, and that we as a people of faith would come together and begin to declare, declare that you are the answer to every ill that we have, that our children would recognize that, God, that Christmas was not put under a tree, but Christmas was born on a tree when Jesus gave his life so that we might have life and have it more abundantly. We pray your peace, the same peace, oh God, that you gave to the disciples when you stepped out on the deck of the boat in the middle of the chaotic storm and you flung the voice that you created the entire universe with and you spoke and you said, peace, be still. Help us to realize that peace is not the absence of chaos, but peace is the presence of God in the middle of the chaos. And God, we're thankful for your presence today. We pray, oh God, that our young people might remember that, God, that you are the author and the finisher of their faith, that you are the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end, and God, that with them all things are possible if they would just believe. Help us as a people of faith to stand up now and live out the true meaning of what it means to be twice born believers of the household of faith. Let us declare, oh God, in the middle of all of this unforgiveness and all of this chaos and all of this prejudice and all of the hatred, God, that we are about love or love is the uh, binding tie and love is the antidote that we need to bring things back together. We thank you for all who are gathered here today. We thank you for every church that's represented. And we pray, God, that as we move from this spot today, that our hearts might be moved with compassion, that we might become the peace walkers and the peace speakers yes. that Hampton yes. need, and that we might become mirror images yes. of a God that declared that because of him that we could have peace even in the midst of a storm. Yes. We bless you for all that you have already done. We thank you for what you're doing right now. But we are paused as a people to celebrate you on credit that you're going to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could ask or think according to the power that worketh in us by Christ Jesus. Help us as parents, God, to be godly examples, to not only talk our faith, but to walk our faith so that the next generation would have something to hold on to, remembering God that Joshua put the stones in the middle of the Jordan yes. so that when the children would come by, yes. they would ask the question, what yes. mean these stones? Yes. And the stones meant that we are standing on the promises yes. of Jesus. Yes. We bless you. We give you glory and we give you honor for everything that you have done. And we put everything in your hands knowing that if we put it in your hands, all shall be well. Let the words of all of our mouths, the meditation of our hearts, may they be acceptable in thy sight. For you, Lord, are our strength, and most certainly you shall forever and always be our blessed Redeemer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.